what is up you guys it is your boy dm lightning here bringing you guys another video after such a long time and today i'm gonna tell you or yeah give you a tutorial on how to use mob crush on uh, on a macbook or any mac um so here's a few things you will need you will obviously need a safari um you will obviously need safari internet and of course a mac well um i guess that's something simple which you is necessary for uh, is necessary for this so now let's go to the safari and um what you need to do in the safari is search for mob crush then you need to you go to their website where they'll always um, be this link most of the time install our mac app for broadcasters the then click it you'll get uh, directed to a new um, new page and here is the thing okay um i forgot to mention this but you need to have osimity 10.10 and your device must be iOS 8 plus. You can know about your asymmetry and all that stuff and about the Mac and stuff like that. So other stuff will be there which is easy to learn and other good stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. So you all you need to do is in, hit the install the OS X app and then you'll be directed to another page and from there you will be able to download it. It'll take you guys a couple of seconds. If your internet is very bad, then it'll take a minute maximum. It won't take like hours or more than 10 minutes. That's impossible. It'll take you a minute. Just click that, double click on it. So you will get open. So here's the thing many people make a mistake of. Um, wait, uh, yeah. So you see this mob crush thing. If you hit that, then you'll get directed to that thing uh, that uh, that thing people hit eject here's the mistake don't hit eject a friend of mine said you have to hit eject and then only works but it never worked for him so good luck you shouldn't hit eject and then you get directed into this again uh, all you need to do is drag and drop from here that's pretty much common sense but there is there are some people who drag and drop to their folders which are on the desktop don't do that man <laughs> that, that doesn't work even if you double click on the mob crush which comes up there it doesn't work so drag that uh, icon to the applications icon and then hold it over there and then it'll work so that's how you get it and yes that is how you jailbreak i'm trying to get the uh, ios 9 for jailbreak that's why i have it and i've jailbroke my I, uh, iphone or ios 8.4 um, so yeah, and then uh, you can click on that. Now that I have the app, but it takes so long, man. I'm gonna skip the video real quick. All right, guys, I'm back. We speeded up the video, or kind of cut the video a bit. It took such long time. Don't do that method though. Go to your launch pad, and then take it. Like, wait. Oh, you 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 always find it on your launch pad over there. You must have it on your launch pad. That means you have finally succeedly, successfully downloaded your um, broadcast mob crush app on your MacBook or anything, any Mac. So from here, it's pretty much common sense. You'll know what to do. It'll ask you to log in. I've already logged in. Uh, I kind of cut that part too by mistake. So you can always uh, the, then comes the title, then the game. Uh, then the camera input if you don't want um, Camera you can always set say no camera needed if you have an extra device connected to your uh, Mac you can always say connect that to that and then there are game sections then there are mic sections and then the mobile devices I haven't connected anything to my mobile devices. You need to connect it with a, a lightning cable, but the picture is gonna come now To the Mac app so then then just uh, click the M button and then you're streaming if you want to end it click it again then you will end the stream it'll ask you if you want to end the stream say yes and all of that good stuff 
So now um, the other sections is this one. The one right now is um, there's like these three sections. The first one helps your, uh, the second one helps the chat. I mean, third one helps the chat. The first one switches your cameras. The second one, I have not tried it yet because I don't really use cameras on my streams. And then there comes the voice. If you keep it more towards your mic, then you have more mic volume. If you have it more towards the game, you have more game volume. I prefer to set it in the middle. So yeah, so I can, my voice is more louder and you can, it's pretty audible. Then here's the chat. You can always chat good stuff and other good stuff. And yeah, you can make people mods and remove mods. You can ban people. You can make them, you can mute them for like five, 10 minutes or you can mute them forever then you can um, you know slow down the chat if your chat is going too crazy uh, I'm, I prefer to disable it you can see your viewers and all of that good stuff as you see here I'm gonna I'm gonna remove her because I was a moderator because he's a noob ha ah, get wrecked get wrecked mate alright guys so this is it for the video if you want more tutorials of, or if you have any questions, do comment below. So hopefully this video helped you guys for people who don't know how to, you know, operate this on a Mac. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Mob Crush D and Lightning as you see. And yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, it looks pretty kawaii. I don't know why. I, I think I'm addicted to that word kawaii. Anyway, bye. I mean, oh, dude, I'm so rusty in making videos now. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Till my next video, it's your boy, Dean Lightning. Peace out.